Hi, I'm Mark Camosio and I'm here on a nice day at Pete's Airgun Farm and uh, we're here to show you one of the latest uh, Air Arms Galahad models and um, a very nice rifle it is too. Quite an attractive walnut stock um, fitted to this one. Um, obviously they're, they're coming with um, a raft of um, features and options um, so there's quite a bit to get through. As it stands here I've got the carbine version um, with walnut stock and a regulated action um, you're looking at about um, 1240 um, roughly um, as far as the price and about a thousand and fifty nine would be an unregulated model and um, they're just sort of just rough guide um, prices as I say there's a whole load of options um, the Galahad is uh, <coughs> Air Arms is um, break into the uh, bullpup rifle market sector of the market and uh, obviously it's taken them a while as with a lot of their rifles it's taken them a while to um, get into that sector but of course like a lot of um, or most of their arms products it's worth the wait uh, because there's an incredible amount of um, attention to detail and um, features with this rifle and unlike several mates where they've just literally um, taken a standard rifle and put the action towards the back of the stock which is the um, sort of standard layout for bullpups the Galahad has actually been designed from the ground up as a bullpup rifle from scratch and it really does show um, a key thing is probably the um, uh, mid midway positioned uh, side lever cocking and um, that's uh, we'll, we'll see that in operation in a moment um, but obviously that be, it, because of that position it means you can actually cycle the action from uh, with the gun in situ in your shoulder um, but just looking at this, we've got a very nice thumb hole configuration. So this is in walnut. It's got quite sharp checkering as well. There's a real sort of refined quality feel to, to this model. Um, matte black coating, sort of fully shrouded barrel. I've got on here the, um, what we call the mini Q-Tech. So it's Air Arms' is Q-Tech silencer, but in a condensed version. And um, it perfectly complements this, this carbon rifle because you don't want the overall length to get too... Um, too great but that still keeps it nice and compact which of course is a major selling point for ball pups um, but it's a, it's a very neat effective silencer there uh, the shroud does sort of take the, the, the edge off the, the shot but that obviously takes um, takes even more sound out um, so looking there you've got a rather dramatic um, breech block it's sort of air arms really showing off what they can do with their top spec CNC machinery and it's a, it's a beautiful exercise in engineering but it obviously it is also um, highly functional this one's come with um, Picatinny rails uh, but again it's another of the options there you can specify a regulated action or unregulated Picatinny rail or conventional um, full length rifle action or like this carbine where it's shortened cylinder etc um, so that, that there's so much choice to go through um, it's quite a comprehensive uh, specification sheet basically um, so basically you've got the as I say Picatinny rail there so you can use Picatinny mounts and lock it in or, or just specify it with the standard uh, standard rails and use standard mounts the, the, the choice is yours there you've got a um, quite a nice sort of rubber touch textured um, cheek piece panel there set into that is the air arms 10 shot um, rotary magazine and uh, if you've ever used their stuff it's very slick very easy to use um, it's not a sprung drum so you can use it uh, move the drum in any direction to to fill it up not worry about where the where where the shot lays within the cycle um, and it's it's pretty damn reliable so that that's all part of it uh, you've got an adjustable um, butt pad there as well which comes as standard um, the two stage trigger which is uh, largely lifted from the 400 SIF and 500 series um, so that means you know it's a two stage pretty light um, semi match design which has um, been proven over over many years so that's what you've got with it you've got sort of uh, proven pedigree um, but in a in a new model which is um, sort of breaking new ground for the for the factory I'll just show you that lever in operation now because it's sort of um, central to how these operate and as I say with some of the rivals where you've got a, um, a bolt handle sort of um, set right back because it's largely the same action 
um, where the really score is um, with that, that lever being there. So I'll, I'll just demonstrate this, the firing cycle. So you pull the lever down and then forwards, all in one motion. That's now cocked the hammer. And then at this stage, with that forward, you can either take out your magazine and fill it up. Um, and as I say, it's just a manually driven standard air arms mag, um, but very nicely made. Or once it's filled, snap it in place and cycle the bolt. And as fast as you can cycle that, your shot is ready. So it's that quick, it's that slick. Um, so there we are, that's the, the Air Arms Galahad. If you're in the market for a, a bullpup, uh, it's been a, a comprehensive project which is um, looking very, very impressive.